Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we do here is build the strength and courage in you to accomplish your big dreams and goals in your sport. No longer will you feel limited. You won't feel you're not good enough. You won't question whether you will make it. Those doubts will disappear because you will have the competitive edge over your opponents and leave them in your wake. And the bonus is others will notice. Listen up and take notes because I will show you exactly how to do it. Hey there, this is Tiff from the Tiffany Micah podcast and welcome to another episode. Well, what I want to talk to you about today is actually finishing school. So at, here in Australia, we've got a, a, this time of the year is when the students are actually finishing school. So if you're in um, United States or Canada, and I think Europe, you're actually just coming up to your Christmas holidays soon, I believe. And but your school year isn't finished. It's just, you're just having a break. But here in Australia, what actually happens is that, you know, uh, young people are now finishing up school. Uh, People have finished year 12. So that's the end of the high school. Um, We call it the HSC here, the high school certificate. Uh, People are actually starting to graduate from uni and finishing their university or college. And so what actually happens is this time of the year in, in where we live is that it's, it's about thinking about what it is that you're wanting to do with your future, especially if that period of your life is now over. So even if you are listening to me and you're from America, United States, you're from Canada, you're from the UK or Europe or, or wherever it is that you're listening to me from, even though that you're not finishing school as such or finishing college or university or anything like that, um, at the moment you're going through break time, I want you to be putting this in the back of your mind of when you actually are going to be finishing, when you are going to be graduating and you're going to start getting on with the rest of your life, I want you to just have this in the back of your mind and think about Okay, these are the things that I want to be doing. And and it's good to do it during a break time as well. So even though that we're coming into to Christmas, it's really good to actually think about next year, to think about the future, to think about what it is that you are actually wanting in your life. So these are some things that I want you to be just just start to think about them because uh, coming up in the next within the next week or so, I'll be uh, talking to you about reflection and, and looking back at the year. So I want you to just start to put these into your mind, start thinking about them, and we'll, we'll cover them in much detail in upcoming episodes. But let's start thinking about these things right now. So here's number one. I want you to be thinking about, well, what have you done really well this year? I want you to look back and go, yeah, you know, I've achieved this and I've done that and you know, there's some really cool things that have actually been happening in my life, even though that, you know, some things have been really challenging. That's okay. You've got there, you've got past it, right? So I had that with my book. I finally got my book launched, but I had a lot of challenges this year. You know, I wrote the book last year, but I had a lot of challenges last year to, 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 to get it edited and to get it, um, proofread and and getting the the cover and figuring out the cover and figuring out the title and all of that kind of stuff it took time what I put on the back of the cover you know takes time what I call the chapters there's a lot of things that actually go on then this year you know it's it's taken quite some time to actually get it to to an actually full product but that's all right because now it is a full product now it's launched now it's a real thing but it took some time to get there, right? So it doesn't matter if it takes time to get there as long as it's happening, right? Number two, what has been a challenge for you this year? So think about what what are the challenges that you have faced? Sometimes you may have not even worked through them yet. You may be still going through them. I just want you to acknowledge that there are challenges out there because we all have them. Like I said, my book's had a lot of challenges getting it to, to the final product, to the print. Number three, and I want you to, this one is, 
I want, I want you to really identify what's really sucked for you. What's really been horrible for you. What has just not worked no matter what you did. What things just went horribly wrong. I want you to acknowledge those as well because this is all about learning what's going on in our lives, isn't it? And the reason that I want you to be thinking about these things is for two reasons. The first reason is like here in Australia, for example, if you're finishing school, you're finishing college, you're finishing university, you're about to embark on the next phase of your life. So I want you to be thinking about these things that you've learned along the way, okay, throughout this year. Well, the second reason is I want you to also be thinking about what I've just proposed to you or posed to you, these questions, because you're actually coming up to break time. You're actually going to start taking a break. So I want you to be thinking about the things that you've actually learned from this year. And I want you to be thinking about it this way. Life tends to happen in different phases. So the first 18 to 22 years of our life, we're very much focused on schooling, college, university, all of that. Of course, we're, we're athletes, right? So the focus is also the sport has been our thing. I know for my first 20 years, especially of my life, it was just tennis. But when you get to that age of 18 or 22, you've really got to start thinking about your future and what you actually want in your life. So, and like I said, life tends to happen in phases. So we've got like the first 20 years and it's a lot of around schooling and so on and education, learning how to do a lot of things, right? We're discovering sports. We're discovering uh, musical instruments that we want to play. We're discovering what life is really about. It's really a, a, a journey of discovery, our first 20 years of life. But it's just the beginning. So then we've got to be looking at the phases in our life. So we're looking from 20 to 30. What's going to happen through those phases? 30 to 40, 40 to 50, and so on. And if you're listening to me right now and you're thinking that you're 20 and you're like 50, oh, that's so far away, I will guarantee you that in a blink of an eye, all of a sudden you'll be like me, 49 years of age, going, I'll be 50 next year. What has just happened? What has happened to the last 30 years of my life? I have no idea. So I want you to be thinking about the future in phases because I want you to be thinking about what are those things that you want to be actually achieving in those phases. We're going to go through this in much greater detail actually earlier in the year. We'll be looking at phases when we're setting up for goals and so on for the for next year. But I want you to be thinking about this right now because the phase that you're currently in, if you are between that 18 to 30 year age bracket, I want you to be thinking about all the things that you actually want. And even if you're listening to me and you're in an older age bracket, welcome. I love, I love it that you're here because you want more from your life. And this is amazing. But again, I want you to be thinking about your future. So if you're that 18 to 30 year age group, I want you to be thinking about your future leading up to the age of 30. What are the things that you want to actually accomplish by the age of 30? If you're in that 30 to 40 year age bracket, what are the things that you want to be achieving by the time you're 40 the 40 to 50 year age bracket what is it that you want to be achieving by the time that you're 50 I did that I did that earlier this year I write down all the things that I want to accomplish by the time I'm 50 which freakily for me it's next year right and then I and then I'm going to go into this next phase of 50 to 60 I can't believe it I just cannot believe how fast time goes this is why I'm sharing this with you now because I wish that someone had said pulled me aside at the age of 20 and said Tiff okay let's plan the next 10 years of your life up to 30 what is it that you want to do I knew what I wanted to do I just didn't know how to get there so I just fell into things along the way I went to uni got a you you know a university degree wasn't really fussed about doing but I fell into it started a tennis coaching business I just did that because that's what I knew because I'd played tennis my whole life and I'd love tennis. I started a sports skills business for kids. Again, I didn't really want to do all of that. I, I fell into it. I wanted to be a professional athlete and I didn't accomplish that because I wasn't aware of all these things that I could do and plan out my life. That sounds simple now. There's so much more information 
out there now than there was when I was your age, like when I was 20. So these are, these are the questions I'm going to pose to you and I want you to be thinking about these, over, especially over this next week, this next two weeks and even leading up to Christmas because there's a lot of things that I'm going to be coming out at you over these next few weeks. So if you've got a journal and you've been like doing this throughout the year, when I've shared information with you and you've been writing down in your journal, you've been answering these questions, I want you to write these ones down now too, okay? Number one, what don't I want in my life? I want you to get really clear about what you don't want because when you, uh, when I've asked people these questions, what do you want? A lot of people really struggle with that. And they struggle with that because they're not really sure what they want, but they will tell you what they don't want. And sometimes it's really good to actually do this exercise first is get clear on what you don't want. I talk about this in my book even, right? Get, get it out of your head what it is what you don't want in your life because then you can get more clear about what you do want. Number two, what, and then this is going to be the follow on number two, what do I want in my life, right? So once you're really clear about what you don't want and you write everything down, every single thing that you don't want in your life, write it out. Then you can get more clear about what you do want. You're like, oh yeah, okay, these are all the things that I want in my life. Just write it all out. It doesn't have to be in any order. Whatever comes into your mind, just write it out. And number three, what are the consequences if I don't achieve these things that I want in my life? I want you to really be thinking about that. What are the consequences if I don't achieve those things in my life? Because I know with the things that I'm working towards, the launch of my book, my book was designed to help you. It's lessons learned from sport and it's how to help you reach your potential in your sport, right, in your life. And so if I didn't produce this book, I felt like I was letting you down. So the consequences of not launching this book and releasing this book out into the marketplace, out into the world, was letting you down. You listening to me now, it was letting you down. I didn't want to let you down. I wanted to show you the path through the experiences that I've had. And show you the way to go, not trying just to figure it out on your own. You can't do it alone. You need guidance, you need help. The Get Focus program that I'm going to be launching, if I don't release that, that's not going to help you become more focused. If I don't show you the how to get more focused, how are you going to compete at the level that you want to compete in your sport? You can't because you don't know how to do it. Right, so I that's a consequence. I'll be letting you down. If I don't release my No Limits Academy, which I'll be releasing next year after the Get Focus program, if I don't re- launch that and release that and show you how to have life with no limits, again, I'll be letting you down. Right, those are the consequences. So I want you to be thinking about what are those consequences if you don't do that, if you don't accomplish what you want in your life. So those questions again, just quickly. Number one, I want you to write down what you don't want in your life. Number two, write out what you do want in your life. And number three, what are the consequences if you don't achieve those things in your life that you really want? So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. As you've heard, I've released my book. I'm actually, uh, every book sold, I am donating five book, uh, five dollars to each book sold to food bank because I believe that no one should go to bed hungry. So if you want to be part of that cause, I'd I'd love it if you could purchase a book or as many books as you can. If you go to tiffanymica.com forward slash food bank, that will take you straight to the page. You can purchase as many books as you can so that we can donate as much money as we can to food bank. So What are you going to do right now? You are going to go and answer those questions for me and I want you to get back to me, share them with me, send me an email, tiff at tiffany-mica.com. I want to hear from you 
And I want you to dream big, believe in you and go after your dreams. Have an absolutely awesome day. Take care. Talk soon. Thanks for listening to today's episode. If you haven't yet downloaded the number one deadly mistake athletes make, make sure you go to tiffany-mica.com and download the number one deadly mistake athletes make. Share with me what you like best about what you heard in the comments section wherever you hear this episode. Share with your friends that you know that would benefit from these episodes. And please leave a five-star review wherever you hear these episodes. I would really appreciate it. Dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams, have an absolutely awesome day.